Hi yogis, this is yoga for a beach bod number two, with everything you love from the original video, but this one is more challenging. Start in a seated position in Sukhasana. Close your eyes, place one hand on your belly and one hand on your chest, and bring an awareness to your breath. Feel both hands rise and fall as you breathe. So you're incorporating a deep and expansive breath into your practice. This kind of breathing is going to keep you focused, calm, and grounded, especially when you're feeling challenged. Open your eyes and come to your hands and knees into a tabletop position. With a neutral spine, belly is pulled in, send your right heel back. For the extra challenge, extend your left hand forward and stretch from your left hand through your right heel. Inhale. As you exhale, tap your left elbow to your right knee. Inhale to reach and extend. Exhale, tap. Inhale, reach. Exhale, tap. Reach, keep the belly pulling in. Tap, one more. Inhale, reach. Exhale, tap. This time, inhale, reach, and hold. Everything is strong and stable for three, two, one. Come back to tabletop and switch sides. Send your left heel directly back. Keep your belly pulling in and extend your opposite hand forward. Try not to dump into your shoulders, hips, or lower back. Inhale, exhale, tap, elbow to knee. Inhale, reach, exhale, tap. Inhale, reach, tap. Moving slow, reach, tap. Inhale, reach, exhale, tap. This time, inhale, reach, and hold. Three, two, one. Come back to tabletop. Find downward facing dog. Reach your hips high and back and pedal at the legs. Remember, you can always have a little bend in your knees in down dog. I'd rather you focus on a long flat back than straight legs. On your next inhale, look up and bend your knees. As you exhale, step your feet behind your wrists at the top of your mat. For a chest expansion, interlace your hands behind your lower back. Bend your knees so you're hinging from your hips and you can fold a little deeper. Press your knuckles up to the ceiling and use your deep, expansive breath to open up your chest and shoulders. Release your hands. Toe heel your feet together to touch. Deeply bend your knees, tuck your chin, and slowly uncurl your spine all the way up to standing. Find mountain pose. Reach your arms up, but keep your shoulders soft. Engage your core. Inhale. Exhale, airplane the arms and sit your hips back really deep. Roll your shoulder heads back so your heart is open and lifting. Next inhale, just reach your arms up into chair pose. Hips stay low, shoulders soft. Inhale. Exhale, fold with soft knees. Next is halfway lift. Slide your hands up your shins until your back is flat. Press your heart forward and balance out the weight in your feet. Inhale, exhale, fold. Plant your hands and step back to a high plank for our chaturanga variation. From high plank, shift forward three extra inches and lower down into low plank. Stop before halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog, hands and feet are the only things on the mat. Then curl your toes under and dive bomb your chest down for low plank again. Inhale, high plank, press it up. Exhale, down dog. You can use my Tabata yoga video to learn how to do that properly and gain strength. 
From down dog, inhale, look up. Exhale, step your feet to the top of your mat, toes and ankles touch. Halfway lift, inhale. As you exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain pose, stand tall. As you exhale, airplane the arms and sit deep. Inhale, chair pose, hips stay low. And exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, long inhale. Exhale, fold, plant your hands, step it back to a high to low plank all at once. As you inhale, upward facing dog, lift out of your shoulders. Exhale, low plank, dive bomb. Inhale, high plank, press it up. Exhale, down dog, deepen your breath. Remember, you can modify those chaturangas on your knees at any point. Next inhale, look up. Exhale, step your feet to touch top of the mat. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Find mountain pose. Exhale to airplane the arms, sit deep. Inhale, chair pose. Forward fold. Halfway lift, long breath in. Exhale, high to low plank. Keep it strong and calm. Upward facing dog. Exhale, low plank. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, down dog. Good job, that's over. Find your deep, slow, and expansive breath. If you have ujjayi pranayama in your practice, definitely use that. From down dog, reach your right leg high and breathe as you stretch into a down dog splits. Next, you'll tap your right knee to your right elbow and hold. Use your core. Inhale, reach your right leg high. Exhale, tap your knee to your forehead and hold. Round out the spine. Inhale, reach your right leg high. Exhale, tap your left elbow and hold. Make that contact. Inhale, reach your right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Step your right foot through until the knee is on top of your ankle. For crescent lunge, reach your arms up, shoulders soft, drive your left heel back, and press your weight down evenly through your front foot. Inhale. Exhale, airplane the arms. And for the challenge, launch into airplane pose. Keep your gaze focused on one spot. This is your drishti. It'll help with your balance and keep you steady. From here, slowly step back and open up into warrior two pose. Find a deep stance with strong legs. Engage your abs and tuck your tailbone under. Inhale. Exhale, extended side angle. Hinge forward and drop your right arm down, left arm high. For the challenge, reach one or both arms overhead like you were holding a beach ball. Keep your heart spiraling up. Keep your breath deep and slow. Next is reverse triangle. Reach your right hand high. Left hand rests on your back thigh and straighten out your right leg. Lengthen your body, toe tips to fingertips. For triangle pose, hinge at your hips and reach forward until your chest almost caves. Then drop your right hand down, reach your left hand high. For the extra challenge, reach one or both hands overhead for that beach ball and keep breathing. Everything spirals up. Next is reverse warrior. Bend your right knee and reach your right hand high. Lengthen your right side body with each inhale. And from here, cartwheel both hands down to the mat for your chaturanga variation. High to low plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, low plank. Inhale, press it up, high plank. Exhale, down dog. And send your left leg high. Breathe into your down dog splits. 
Next, tap your left knee to your left elbow and hold. Inhale, reach your left leg high. Exhale, tap knee to forehead and hold. Inhale, reach. Exhale, tap across the body to your right elbow and hold. Make that contact. Inhale, reach. Exhale, low lunge for your crescent lunge. Anchor down through your back leg so your heel drives back. Find support in your front leg and balance the weight in your foot. Tuck your tailbone just slightly, shoulder soft. Long breath in. Exhale, airplane the arms or launch if you did on the other side. Extend through your heel. Toes flex back so all the muscles in your leg are engaged. Press your heart forward. Slowly step back and open up into warrior two. Shoulders are relaxed, but your arms are strong, like you're holding dinner plates on top of them. Abs are tight. Inhale here. Exhale, extended side angle. Reach forward, then lower your left arm down, right arm high. If you took the beach ball on the other side, do so here, but try not to let your chest cave. Focus on maintaining a deep, slow breath. Next is reverse triangle. Straighten your left leg, but don't lock the knee joint. Reach your left hand high and breathe length into your left side body. For triangle pose, hinge forward and lower your left arm down, right arm high. Grab that beach ball if you did on the other side. Usually, if you lift a little higher in this pose, it makes it easier to spiral open and lean back. For reverse warrior, bend your left knee, reach your left hand high. Just a simple side body opening. Inhale. Exhale, both hands to the mat for your chaturanga variation. High to low. Inhale, upward facing dog. Dive bomb, low plank, keep it strong. Press it up, high plank. Downward facing dog. Hold here or rest in child's pose. Find your deep and slow breath so we can flow one breath, one movement. From down dog, inhale, reach your right leg high. Exhale, tap your right elbow. Inhale, reach. Exhale, tap your forehead. Inhale, reach. Tap your left elbow. Inhale, reach. Low lunge. Find crescent lunge, ground down, inhale. Exhale, airplane the arms or launch into airplane pose. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle, abs are tight. Inhale, reverse triangle, both legs straight. Exhale, triangle pose. Inhale, reverse warrior, bend your right knee. Exhale, chaturanga variation, high to low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog, low plank. Press it up, high plank, down dog. Next full inhale, reach your left leg high. Exhale, tap left elbow. Inhale, reach. Tap your forehead. Inhale, reach. Tap your right elbow. Inhale, reach. Low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. As you exhale, airplane. Warrior two, full breath in. Exhale, extend. Reverse triangle on your breath in. Exhale, triangle pose. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, high to low plank. 
Upward facing dog, full inhale. Low plank, dive bomb. Inhale, press it up, high plank. Exhale, down dog. Good job, take a seat. Take a sip of water and chill just for a second before we move on. When you're ready, come to a high plank for some booty lifts I learned from my friend Robin from The Balance Life. From your high plank, reach your right heel high up until you feel your cheek perk. Then slowly tap your toes to the mat. Inhale, reach your right leg up. Exhale, tap the mat. Inhale, reach. Exhale, tap. That's three. Keep going with your breath, and you can always modify it by doing this from tabletop especially if you feel like you're dumping into your shoulders or lower back. Slow and steady, yogis. Keep counting with each tap, and when you're finished with 10 on the right, immediately start 10 on your left side. Inhale as you reach your left leg high. Exhale as you tap the mat. Inhale, reach. Exhale, tap. Keep going. Follow your breath. And count your taps. Always modify one side if you did so on the other side and keep the body calm and stable. Abs are tight to protect your lower back. When you're completely finished, take a seat on your heels and shake out your wrists. Roll out your shoulders. Then rest in child's pose for a few really deep breaths to ground. Make your way to Downward Facing Dog. Next inhale, look up and bend your knees. As you exhale, step to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Find chair pose. Sit back really deep and firm up your thighs. Bring your hands to heart center. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, twist to the right. Hook your elbows outside of your knees and take a few deep breaths in this twist to rinse out those ab muscles. Next inhale, come back to chair pose. Exhale, airplane the arms and bring your left foot on tippy toes. As you inhale, find mountain pose with your left knee to your chest and place your left ankle above your right knee. Bring your hands to heart center and sit back into a chair pose with figure four. Target a stretch in your left glute. Gaze is set on your drishti, that non-moving spot, to help with balance. Now slowly rise and keep your left knee bent. For dancer, reach back with your left hand to grab the inner arch of your left foot. Reach your right hand high. With your gaze focused on your drishti, inhale to lengthen your right side body. Exhale to extend your left leg into your left hand. Inhales lengthen. Exhales help you bow. From here, find warrior three. Just release your left ankle and reach both hands forward as you plank on top of your standing leg. Bring your hands to heart center for Shiva squats. Inhale. Exhale, bend both knees, tap your left knee to your right calf. Inhale, reach your right leg long. Exhale, Shiva squat and tap. Inhale, reach. Exhale, squat, just two more. Reach, squat. Last one, reach, squat. Well done. Drop your right hand down, reach your left hand high and open up into half moon. Stack your hips and stack your shoulders. Feel the burn, but don't let it consume you. Focus more on creating a deep yogic breath. And if you want an extra challenge here, try the sugarcane variation of this pose. 
Bend your right knee, reach back with your right hand, and grab your ankle. Extend your right leg into your right hand to bow and breathe. Wherever you are, mindfully transition to a forward fold and shake it out. Then bring both feet together in your fold. Next inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Find chair pose. And bring your hands to heart center. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, twist to your left for prayer twist. Hips are lower than your heart. Knees are still together. Breathe deep. Next inhale, chair pose. Exhale, airplane the arms and perch your right foot on tippy toes. Inhale, mountain pose with your right knee lifted and place your ankle above your left knee so you can sit back in your figure four. Breathe, find your drishti. Focus on opening through your hip and glute. Slowly rise and set up your dancer. Reach your right hand back to grab the inner arch of your right foot. Keep your left hand reaching high and inhale to lengthen your left side body. Exhale, extend your right foot into your hand to pull your shoulder back and bow on top of your standing leg. Gaze is still fixed. Keep the breath calm slowly release into warrior three. Reach both hands forward. Engage the back line of your body to keep you strong. Bring your hands to heart center. Inhale. Exhale, Shiva squat. Tap your right knee to your left shin. Inhale, open. Exhale, Shiva squat. Inhale, open, Shiva squat. Inhale, open, keep it strong, Shiva squat. Last one, open, exhale, Shiva squat. This time, inhale, open, and lower your left hand down for half moon. Reach your right hand high, stack your hips, stack your shoulders, deepen your breath. Love the burn, but don't be the burn. If you went for the sugar cane on the other side, do so here. Moving slow and steady. Slow release into a forward fold. Shake it out. Make your way to downward facing dog for a well-deserved cool down. Inhale, reach your right leg high. Exhale, half pigeon. Track your right knee open. Flex your right toes back. Make sure your hips are even and square and slowly surrender down to your mat. Take a few deep and slow breaths to encourage your body to relax. Slowly rise and come back to downward facing dog to switch sides. Inhale, reach your left leg high. Exhale, half pigeon. Set it up so your hips are square, toes flexing back, and take your time as you completely surrender for a few of your deepest and slowest breaths.
rise, and make your way to your final downward facing dog. Next inhale, look up and bend your knees. As you exhale, step all the way through to a seated position on your mat. Bring the soles of your feet together, knees open, and take a lot of space between your heels and hips. Shimmy your hips side to side to move flesh out of the way and take a big breath to lengthen your spine. As you exhale, round and fold so your forehead goes towards your heels. Breathe so deep you can feel your breath travel up and down the spine. Hips and shoulders relax. Gently rise and lie down on your back. Keep your knees bent and lifted over your hips. Reach your arms out by your sides like a T. Inhale, turn your chin to the right and exhale, let both knees fall to your left. Keep them tucked in close so you can reach down with your left hand and hook it into your knee crease. Then when you breathe, breathe so deep your torso inflates with your inhale and as you exhale, ground your right shoulder back down to the mat. Use the strength of your core to bring your chin and knees back to center. Inhale, turn your chin to the left. Exhale, let both knees fall to the right and keep them tucked in close to reach down with your right hand to hook into your knee crease. Use big, expansive breaths to ground your left shoulder blade back down to the mat. Slowly come back to center and grab the inner arches of your feet for dead bug pose. It's like happy baby, but you stay still. So spread your ankles open and ground your hips down. Try rolling onto your right side and just holding there. Then roll through center onto your left side and hold there. Come back to center and release your legs for your final Shavasana. Close your eyes and completely let go. If you're ready to come out now, deepen your breath. Rock your head side to side. Pull your knees in and curl up on one side into a fetal position. Then press up to seated with your hands to heart center. Thank you for sharing your practice. Wherever you are, and wherever I am, we are one. Namaste. Thank you, lovely yogis. Let me know how you feel in the comments below, and check out my Power Yoga playlist for more intense videos like these. Have a great day.